Why don't you come with us, Joe? I'm busy getting my traps ready. Tomorrow I start laying out my trap line. So you want the dog team back tonight? That's right. I'll be leaving before daybreak. Well, we'll be back before then. We're just going up to the trading post. George wants us to take up some papers, licenses or something. That's fine. You want some more chocolates? No, we better get going. We've got to stop at the office and pick up these papers. Okay. I'll see you get started. Kids been in yet? Not yet. Hey, George, Charlie was looking for you. Is he in town? Yeah, he came in this morning to pick up stores. He said he heard some shots out in the game reserve yesterday afternoon when he was passing through. He thought you might be interested. He was right, I am. There shouldn't be anyone shooting in the reserve this time of year. There shouldn't be anybody shooting in the reserve at all, period. That all Charlie had to say? He didn't see anyone? Tracks? Anything? No. He said the shots were way back in the bush. But that's all he knew. Could be somebody just fooling around. Maybe. But I'd better take a look all the same. Don't fix those snowshoes yet? Oh, yeah, they're right in here. Did a good job of them. Yeah, he always does. You going up with the kids? They can drop me off. Pick me up on their way back. Won't leave much time, but I'll have a quick look, see? Find the store, Darby. Yeah, sure. Have a nice trip. Thanks. Where we part company. Time, 11 o'clock. Check. Give me four hours. We meet back here at 3 o'clock. Okay. I'll get along better without these things. Yeah, the snow doesn't seem too thick around here. Have a nice trip. Thanks. And uh, don't get lost, eh? I'll do my best. Come on. Let's go.
on, let's go. It's three o'clock, dead on time. Hope George gets here pretty soon. It'll be kind of cold waiting around. Well, why don't we get a fire going and have some chocolate? I'll bet George will be glad to have something hot to drink when he gets here. Okay. I'll get the gear from the sled. I'll get some firewood. Hey, Chuck. Yeah? I suppose George will be okay. Well, sure. Why shouldn't he be? You fell. That's right, I remember. I'm making soup. There's always shock after something like this. Soup will help. What are you doing here, anyhow? I told you, making soup. Vegetable soup? Venison. You just happened to find a deer that was conveniently dead. I shot it. Without a permit? In a game reserve? Don't you know that's against the law? The law was not made by Indians, and I am an Indian. Eat your soup. It will help to keep you alive for the time being. Thanks. Thanks a lot for being so cheerful. I shot that deer with my last shell. These are yours. Fortunately, our rifles have the same caliber. Three for you, three for me. What's the idea? I don't want to leave you without some kind of protection. Well, that's all right. It won't take you very long to get to Indian River, even if you do miss the kids. They'll be waiting about a couple of miles away at the edge of the reserve. I'm sorry. I'm going the other way. How come? There's nothing there, just bush and more bush. I know that. You aren't going to walk out on me, are you? The temperature's going to be sub-zero tonight. Just how long do you think I'd last with a broken leg and that shock that you were talking about? You're young and in good health. More than 12 hours, but perhaps less than 24. I hope your friends find you. They may not. It could snow before morning. I'm afraid so. I'll get wood for the fire. Leave you soup and meat. That's all I can do. What's the matter with you? Have you resigned? Resigned? From civilization, from the world. From your world and your civilization. <laughs> Been here over an hour. You think George is OK? Well, sure, why not? He wouldn't be an hour late, would he? Just gone a little bit further than he meant. Didn't take a look at the time. Any more to drink? What are you running away from? I'm not running. I'm walking. OK, walking. Away from what? It doesn't matter now. It matters to me. Do you think I want to die? I'm sorry about that. You're an educated man. High school, probably university. Yes. What happened? You've gone back a couple of hundred years. You're bushed. You're walking away from life. Why? I thought I would help my people. I thought it was just some kind of mistake that so many Indians were living in poverty in the reservations. It is. I thought I would do something about it. I went on to an advisory council for Indian affairs. One day, a man came to my office. He was a man who wrote for the newspapers. He had no sympathy for my people. He thought we were a dead race with no future. 
and no past worth preserving. He did us great harm. When he came, we argued. We got very angry. And he called me an Indian. Why not? You are an Indian. It was a word of contempt to him, so I hit him. I think I killed him. And I walked out. It's time you walked back in. Why? You've got to find out what happened. You've got to take what's coming to you, whatever it is. I don't think so. They'll get you in the end. Maybe. We'll see. In the meantime, you were right. I have resigned. I haven't. I think you'll be all right. They'll come for you. I think you said there were some kids only two miles away. Yeah. They won't go without you. I don't know. They're just kids. Maybe it hasn't occurred to them yet that grown-ups can make mistakes and get themselves into trouble. Someone will come for you. You know something? We're kidding ourselves. Something's got to have happened to him. Like what? Well, maybe he got lost. George, come off it. Or got hurt. How? Well, could have tangled with this poacher, if there is one. Yeah, you gotta go in and look for him. Look where? We don't know how far in he's gone. Even if we did find his trail, we'd lose it again. It'll be dark in an hour. I think it's gonna snow. We better go back to Indian River for hell. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Here you can keep the fire going and feed yourself. You're wasting a lot of time. There's no hurry. No one will come tonight. You'll get away all right. I wasn't thinking of that. If you go back right now and give yourself up, you may still be able to do something for your people. But hiding in the bush like an animal until they catch you, that's not going to help anyone. Keep a good fire burning. The smoke will help people to know where you are. At night? Tomorrow. In the snowstorm. Who are you kidding? I hope your friends come before the snow. I've done all I can for you. In a way, I guess you have. I'm sorry to make you leave your home. I would have had to move on soon in any case. I won't be needing the snowshoes for quite a while. You might... You've nothing to do but stay alive. You've nothing to fear except cold and a little hunger until your friends come. Thanks. And you were back there at 3. On the dot. And waited till 4.30. Joe, you think we should have stayed there just in case? No. No, I don't think so. You have to be back before dark and get help. Those shots were pretty far back in the reserve when Charlie heard them. So what? I think George went pretty far in. Found he couldn't get back in time, so he bunked with some trapper on the other side of the reserve. And left the kids to wait. They came back, didn't they? He'd know they'd had the sense to do that. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Suppose he met this poacher. We don't even know there was one. Those shots could have been way out beyond the reserve. 
Well, what are we gonna do, nothing? Well, there's nothing we can do at night. If we don't hear from them, we'll start a search in the morning, call in a helicopter. That won't help if the snow falls. Well, if the snow falls, we'll start a ground search. Yeah, but that could take days. Well, he never goes into the woods without a survival kit, you know that. Sure, but the temperature's way below zero. Well, the survival kit, he can last for weeks. Unless he's been hurt. Yeah, unless he's been hurt. Come on, we go to my place and feed the dogs. And ourselves too, huh? George is pretty hungry right now. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know. And we won't know until sundown tomorrow, if we're lucky. George is lucky. And it'll have been a whole day and a whole night. Well, maybe we'll know before that. Well, not if we sit here and do nothing. Who says we're going to sit here and do nothing? You mean we're going to start looking tonight? Mm hmm Chuck, Mike, and me. And you're going to stay with the walkie-talkie. Oh, Joe, can I come too? I'm not tired, really. Well, we've got to have someone to take a message, just in case. Oh, okay. Around 10, the moon will be rising. Be enough light to take us back where you left George. And when we get there? Well, when we get there, we'll see what happens. Go ahead! <laughs> Down, boy. Down, down. Get out, boy. Down, boy. Went in right there. Wait here. Snow's been drifting. Yeah. are covered. Any way of finding them under the snow? Oh, sure, but it takes time. It'll be easier in daylight. We gonna wait here? I think so. Build a windbreak, make a little fire, and get some sleep. I'll get the bedrolls from the sled. I heard a rifle shot. George? Might be. Get the direction? No, I was sleeping. Wolf? Yeah. What's he howling for at this time of night? Hungry, I guess. Joe? Do you think that's what George could have been firing at? I want you to stay here. Take it in turns to keep the fire going good and big. And get some sleep. Okay? Okay.
Honey! Honey? I followed you. I thought you were a friend of mine. I've never seen you before. I know that. I made a mistake. Why did you follow me? I know these snowshoes. Two days ago, I fixed them for George Keeley. You know where he is? Well, I can backtrack. I can find him. But I wasted a lot of time. I should have gone where the shots came from. A rifle shot? You sleep too well. There have been two shots in the last hour. Two shots? Uh -huh. And a wolf howling. You know about wolves, I guess. Too timid to attack a man if he can defend himself. But if he's sick or dying... If I'm too late, I'll come back for you. Wait! I was wrong, too. I told him he had nothing to fear except cold and a little hunger. What kept you? I took the wrong turning. It's darn cold in here. Put some wood on the fire. Yeah. Withdrawn your resignation? I didn't resign from the human race. Has the sergeant left with Mandeman yet? Not yet. Do me a favor, will you? See that Mandeman gets this before he goes. Sure. It's a receipt for one wolf. He'll get a bounty of 25 bucks. What's going to happen to him? I don't know. The sergeant says that guy didn't die anyhow. And Mandeman was provoked, so maybe nothing will happen to him, or at least not much. I hope you're right. My people need men like that. They do. George, how come the wolf went for you? I thought you said they didn't attack human beings. He didn't attack me. He just hung around. Well, why? Maybe he just wanted company. No living thing likes to be entirely alone. I guess Mandeman knows that now. I'll give him this receipt before he goes. Tell him to drop in if he's ever up this way. Sure. I owe him a bowl of soup. See you, George. 